Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very interesting yellow spring look. <laughs> I think all the pollen we've had here in Georgia has inspired me. I've really been into yellow lately and I think it's the pollen's fault. It's everywhere and I can't get away from it so might as well be inspired by it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the look I came up with. It's a bit edgy still, you know, not like super soft um, and a little different. And I think this look is actually complimentary. We'll actually compliment someone with hooded eyes because the colors are placed above the crease. Now, if you have close set eyes, this might not be completely your jam, but you can adjust it to suit your eyes. eyes. Uh, shape and eye uh, placement. That is the word I'm looking for. I don't practice before doing these, so <laughs> I just kind of wing it. Yeah, so if you have close set eyes, I do suggest that you keep this dark color off and just go all the way with the light yellow and place the dark here. Now, if your eyes are like mine, you can pull it off. Even if you have wide set eyes, then this will be great for you. So, yeah, now that I've given you some tips, <laughs> if you want to see how to go about recreating this look, keep watching. For this tutorial, I used the Magic Mini from Juvia's Place, The Tribe, And the Nomad, also from Juvia's Place. Here are the contacts that I wore for this look. I used my uh, Instant Age Rewind Concealer and Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. And the Gel Eye Pencil from Maybelline as well. Real Hair Lipstick and Deep Mauve. And here are the brushes listed out. Okay, let's begin. We're starting by with the concealer. <laughs> We're gonna apply it all over the eyelid and just patting it down gently and a little bit underneath. Taking the blending brush, we're gonna go into the light yellow and apply it all over the eyelid while blending it. With the same blending brush, we're going to go into the brown, and that's the Tribe palette, applying it in the inner corner, working it upwards towards the eyebrow, and on the outer corner, also working it outwards towards the temple. And blending it as well. Now taking a large shadow brush, we're going to apply the glittery yellow all over the eyelid and also slightly blending it with the brown. Taking a small shadow brush back into the brown from the Tribe palette and applying it underneath the eye and connecting it with the outer and inner corners. With a medium shadow brush, we're going to go into the shimmery shade from the Magic Mini palette, applying it on the top part of the eyelid. And then taking the blending brush, we're going to blend this out. With the same blending brush, we're going to go into the glittery yellow and apply and blend with the brown. Now taking the eyeliner and the concealer brush, we're going to line the eye. And 
then we're gonna smooth it out. And we're gonna align underneath as well. And with a small shadow brush, we're going to go back into the glittery yellow that is in the Nomad palette and we're going to apply it underneath. Mascara. And we're applying the mascara on the top lashes. Just several coats. And underneath as well. Now with the lip brush and the lipstick, we're going to apply the lip color to our lips. And the look is done. And you made it to the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. You like the look. And if you love yellow, well, you might just love it. <laughs> Today's nails are yellow. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> I actually saw this color by accident. I was just, I, oh, every time I go to the grocery store or Walmart, I check out the nail polishes because they always have new ones and I just want to look. And yes, I saw this color. It caught my eye right away and I decided to just snatch it. And of course it is an LA Colors and it's called Summer Field. And this is what I'm wearing today on my nails. Isn't it pretty? I mean, if you like yellow, if you hate yellow, then no. <laughs> but if you like it, yes. And I just topped it with this guy because they do go on a little bit matte, these nail polishes. They don't have too much shine to them. So I do recommend having a shiny overcoat or top coat for your nails yeah so i think those are all the tips i have for you we did use three palettes this time what now if you have this palette and i don't know if this one is no this one is available i think this is the one that i tried to look for again and they don't have it so i'm sorry if you're like, I don't have that. But if you have this one, you don't have to use the color I use. You can actually use this color right here for the outer and inner because it's very similar, except that it's a little bit more cool toned. Can you even tell the difference? Cause I can <laughs> see one is a little bit warmer. The other one is a little bit cooler, but they're both pretty similar. This one has more of an olive olive tone to it in person because the camera doesn't always show the true color and this one has more of a brownish tone so yeah that's why basically if you have this if you have just this you only need the two yellows and this guy right here for the magic mini um, i really just wanted to use the shimmery yellow they have you don't need it for the look you really don't. <laughs> I just me wanting to use that color because I haven't really used it. And uh, yeah, I like it. So I thought it would be cool to add a little bit of shine. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to give my video the thumbs up. Bing! And subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more tutorials to come. And as always, rock on. Look at this.